Pinterest affiliate marketing is one of the side hustles that I have tried that has actually worked. I have been able to make money off of doing my Pinterest affiliate marketing and the whole process has been really well documented here on my channel. I do continue to get questions and comments regarding this one and I have always promised you all that I would give you income updates along with updates along the way of things that I have personally experienced and learned so that you guys can be better equipped to do this yourself. Now doing this one over time has allowed me to see realistic results instead of just watching videos that promise big numbers, but don't really give anything that's too realistic, which kind of makes you give up after a certain amount of time that you're not seeing these huge results. So doing this over time has allowed me to see realistic results and give you guys realistic updates on what you may also be able to expect as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. For one of the main ways that I know that this has been able to allow me to be successful with my Pinterest affiliate marketing and that's by using a tool that you may have heard me talk about in other videos called seowriting.ai. This tool, if I didn't have it, there's no way I would be able to perform this side hustle because I'm not a blog writer and if you've watched my series in this specific little niche of the Pinterest affiliate marketing, you know that you do need a blog or landing page in order to put your affiliate links inside of for Pinterest. As you can see, seowriting.ai created this entire blog post for me. It includes videos, pictures. They have an amazing new feature called the readability option, which gives you the option to choose the readability level of the overall blog. Deep web citations, which means it searches the entire deep web to find citations for all of the information that it's providing to ensure that it's providing accurate information. And that's why I continue to talk about it because it's the main reason why I've been able to be successful. Okay, really quickly, let me give you all some stats on my process and my progress along the way. So I started Pinterest affiliate marketing back in October of 2023. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, just know that originally I did get banned. I do discuss that in another video. However, I did successfully open up a new account and in total I have on this new account 31 pins. Here are the stats from the income I've been able to bring in in that time frame. So for Amazon Associates over six months, I've earned $13.17 in commissions. From my last video, I've had an additional two SoFi signups from my pins that are recommending SoFi and that brings my complete total from SoFi up to $375 that I've earned. And then I've also had a couple signups from affiliates that I'm involved in that I've made pins about of products that I personally use and love. I've had a couple signups from those, bringing my complete total of what I've earned in six months from Pinterest affiliate marketing to $428.17. So because this one has been able to be successful for me, I wanna continue into a complete rundown of how I do my process, updates on the seowriting.ai platform, and answer questions and comments along the way because I do get a ton of questions and comments on these videos that sometimes I don't get to respond to. So I find that this is a perfect opportunity to kind of answer some of those questions that I've seen that I have not responded to yet. A common question, believe it or not, that I do get is one like this comment here. I don't even understand how you make money from this. Even though I do discuss it in the video, I do understand that some people this may be new to, it may be a new concept, and they don't completely understand. So what is Pinterest affiliate marketing? Pinterest affiliate marketing targets an established audience that's already on Pinterest. So it's targeting users of Pinterest and works by recommending products or services and once someone purchases from your affiliate links with inside your pins, you get a small commission for it. So here is the complete list of the steps that I'm gonna be going over in this video that you can follow along with me so that if you need to pause this part and take a screenshot of the screen to kind of know the exact steps, you can do so. Now all of these steps in total should take you no more than one hour. And the only reason that I say one hour is because one of these steps is creating a blog. Now, most blog platforms that you're gonna be using do have templates that you can go ahead, quickly select, add a few personal items like a name or a business name or something to, and it can be done. So really one hour is stretching it, but I did say one hour just to be safe. Let's go ahead and jump into the steps. Step number one is gonna be signing up with a completely free account with seowriting.ai. This is what the sign up homepage looks like. All you're gonna do is input a little bit of information. You do not need a credit card to get started with this. And let's go ahead and dive into the step-by-step -step process of how I create my blogs 
for my pins. Now, once you've created your free account, this is what the home dashboard will look like of your SEO writing.ai. What I wanna show you is my typical process of what I do. So typically I will go over here on the left. I'm gonna click on the one click blog post. Once you click on that, this is exactly what it's going to look like up here at the top where it says main keyword. This is where I'm going to want you to put in keywords of a possible article that you may want on your blog. So think about pins, think about things that may sell, think about things that you're interested in, whatever you need. If you need ideas, go to chat GPT. However, I don't do that. I just think of things that people may want to click on or that I actually look for whenever I'm on Pinterest. So for me, what I did was I typed in best tennis shoes for walking or running in Disney World. This is something I've been looking at Pinterest that I haven't been able to find many really good pins or articles about. So I thought that this would be good for maybe other people who are also searching this. Now the main keyword portion, that's exactly what you're gonna put in, just main things that you want your blog post to be about. Once you put in those main keywords, all you have to do is select generate a title. Give it a couple seconds and as you can see, it generated top tennis shoes for Disney World trip walk and run. Keep in mind, this is SEO optimized. So you don't really need to be thinking about, okay, SEO words, things like that. This is SEO optimized. Once you have your title, you're going to scroll down here for your core settings. You're going to select your language and then tone of voice. I typically leave it as friendly, but for this one, I want it to be more informational, right? Next is point of view. What kind of point of view do you want your blog to be? For me, I'm putting second person, you, your, yours. And then next is target country. For me, I'm putting United States up here on the right right side of that article size. I'm selecting medium. I don't really want it to be too long. Power of AI models. We're going to come back to this one. Readability. Now this is what I was talking about. Readability is really important for when people click on your blog. How readable is your blog? Are they able to just click on it and read through it with ease? Is it difficult to read through? Mainly people on Pinterest, you don't really want your blogs to be too difficult to read through because then you may lose their interest. They may not click on your affiliate links things of that nature. That's why this section of this blog post creation is important to select the right thing. So readability, they do give a recommended here, but you can also do your own Googling and research about what kind of readability you want. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and select the recommended one. The next portion that says details to include, this is if you're using it for like your business or you're writing information for your website, which is an amazing resource for that as well. This is going to give you those samples of things you can include that they will put in the article. And then down here under Media Hub, you can select the type of AI images. If you want them, yes or no, the number of images. They also give you the option to choose the image style. For me, I'm just gonna select it, no specific style and kind of let it do its thing. And then YouTube videos. Do you wanna add in those YouTube videos into your blog post? For me, I'm gonna say yes, because it's gonna give that further in-depth information into the article, but you can select no if you'd like. SEO, the keywords to include in the text you can just simply click this button right here that says NLP keywords generation, and that's going to automatically generate SEO optimized keywords for your article. You don't even have to worry about doing that. And then next under structure, you can actually put a hook in your article, such as like a question or a statistical fact quotation, story, personal or emotional. For me, I like a statistical or fact, especially for this type of blog, so I'm gonna select that. And then under here, it's gonna give you the option to do a conclusion on your blog, tables within your blog, which I'll kind of give you a rundown of, list, H3, italics, quotes, key takeaways, facts, bold. Do you want all of this within your article? For me, I typically just select yes because I find that it gives a really beautiful article like at the beginning. And then down here, external linking, none. And then connect to web. Do you want to connect to the web to give that deep, really factual information that it can search the web for to ensure it's giving the most factual information found. And then it will also cite that information in the blog. So in order for the deep web plus citation to be selected, you're going to need to go ahead and scroll back up here and make sure that you're selecting high GPT enhance. And that way, when you scroll back down to select the deep web plus citation, it's going to be able to give it. And then under source links, you can select 
fact yes or no and then under citation do you want it to cite the sources that it finds the information from kind of makes the blog post much more trustable so i'm selecting yes and then all i'm going to do from there is scroll up back to the top and select run and then after those minutes this is what the blog post looks like so you have top 10 issues for disney world trip walk and run when you scroll down here it gives some images if you don't like the image that it produces, all you have to do is click this button right here, this little circle with the arrow, select it, and it will continue to produce a different image until you found one that you like. So as you can see, it gives key takeaways, essential criteria for selecting your Disney World tennis shoes, it gives nice photos in there, and I'm gonna show you later on how I add in my affiliate links into a blog post like this. Here's like a YouTube video. So it inputs those YouTube videos. Here is like a list that it talks about whenever you're selecting your stuff. This is kind of like what it looks like. It gives all of the information here. And keep in mind, this is from the web. It's from reliable sources that it cites at the bottom of the article. This, you can take the time to read through it yourself if that makes you feel more comfortable. Let's go ahead Ahead and go over subscriptions. They have their free version, which gets you five free article generations. They have their starter pack for $19 a month and then their professional pack for $79 a month. You can save 25% by using my coupon code. I'm gonna have it linked in the description box down below or at the bottom of the screen. So be sure to take advantage of that coupon code. Step number two is going to be creating your blog. Let me go ahead and answer some questions here regarding the blog. I've had a lot of questions on which blog to use? Can they use like the Google Blogger? You can use whatever blog you are able to use at this time. For me, I use WordPress because WordPress has a feature that allows you to connect to seowriting.ai with complete ease. And so when you're done creating your article, you can just select publish and it'll go directly onto your blog. So that's why I choose WordPress. I'm going to go into that a little bit here in a minute. However, if you don't have any money at all, which is completely understandable, we're here trying to make money. If you're looking for free options, you can by all means use the Google Blogger because the seowriting.ai may not connect automatically to that. However, the SEO blog tool here has a copy button. Once you're done creating the article, you can simply copy it. Now it will not copy the YouTube videos or the pictures, but the article itself, you can select copy and then go to your free blog that you choose to use and select paste. So those questions that I'm getting, can you use Google Blogger? Can you use this blog or that blog that's, you know, a dollar a month or something like that? Absolutely, you can use whatever blog you want for this. Just note that what I'm showing in my video, the WordPress, that's what I use. So step number two, find a blog, whatever blog you would like, sign up with it, and let's move in to step number three. Step number three is gonna be signing up with your free Amazon Associates account. Now, I've had a lot of comments regarding Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates isn't good for them. They don't wanna do Amazon Associates. Do I do ClickBank? The answer is no, I don't do ClickBank. I think the products are not great. I'm, I just don't wanna do ClickBank. I use Amazon Associates because it is the most reliable when it comes to creating blog posts like this where I'm gonna be suggesting certain tennis shoes for Disney World. I know that Amazon Associates affiliate program is gonna have those tennis shoes that I can actually go back and link from my affiliate account into the blog post. So Amazon Associates is what works for me. You can use whatever you want. I also use products that I use and love. And I go in, I find affiliate links for recommending friends. You know, whenever you have a product that you love and use, it'll say refer a friend, receive $20. Most companies do this type of thing. So this part is gonna be completely up to you. Just know that step number three, create your free account with Amazon Associates if that's what you wanna use, or also find products that you use and love that you would not mind recommending to a friend because you use and love it. I've also had a lot of questions regarding how do I recommend people to SoFi? How do I join that affiliate program? 
the answer to this common question or comment that I'm getting is in order to recommend SoFi, because they do have a really amazing referral program, in order to do this, you must be a member with SoFi. So if you're in the US, you can use my link down below, sign up with SoFi or whatever you wanna do, sign up with SoFi, become a member. Once you're a member and you have that new account, they will give you the refer a friend, here's your link automatically in the app, and then you can take that link and use it. So you must be a member with SoFi. If you're not in the US, you live in different countries, I'm sorry, I don't know how your banking system works. However, you can ask your bank, do you have a referral program? Most banks will give you 25 to 50 bucks per referral. So just ask your bank. I'm not sure about other countries, but it's worth you asking. From here, publishing your article onto your blogger landing page. So up at the top of your article on seowriting.ai, you're gonna have a few options. What I recommend if you're using an outside blog, like not WordPress, just select copy and it will completely copy your article. Now keep in mind, it won't copy the YouTube videos or the pictures, but it will copy the article. Or for me, what I do because I use WordPress, I just select publish. And this will give me my connected site, which is already my blog. I can choose the category it's going to go into, which this is gonna be uncategorized. And then I just select publish. And here is my blog post on my blog. Now this is currently a draft. So in order to edit it, which all I wanna do is go in and add my affiliate links inside my blog, I'm gonna go over to my my blog dashboard and then over here on the left where it says all posts I'm gonna select under drafts there it is right there quick and easy that's my blog that I just created with you all so here I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go in and what I'm gonna do is go over to Amazon Associates account gather links for all of the tennis shoes that this blog post is recommending. Once you're done with that step completely and you've added in all of your affiliate links inside your blog post once it's on your blog, the next step is going to be going in and creating your Pinterest pin photo in Canva. So I wanna do a quick rundown of that. I've input Pinterest pin in the search bar here. And as you can see, look at all of these beautiful options to choose from whenever it comes to creating a pin for your Pinterest board. You're going to just choose whichever pin that you feel like will fit your vibe. I'm gonna choose this one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add photos of shoes here. And then down here, what I'm gonna do is add best tennis shoes for Disney world. So I'm going to just select customize this template here. It's going to bring it up. And as you can see, each individual one that I click on is a photo that I can delete and add photos into. What I'm going to do is kind of go off screen, create my pin. And then once it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, here's what my Pinterest pin looks like. I got that completely finished. And now what I'm gonna do is save it, download it onto this computer, and then I'm gonna use it for the photo of my Pinterest pin. So now the last step is going to be pinning this on Pinterest so that people can click, read it, and buy those products. Once you're on your Pinterest business account over here under Business Hub, you're gonna be able to click on that and create that organic pin. So once you've created your pin, you're just gonna upload that Pinterest pin that you just created from whatever it is you saved it to, your camera roll or your computer, upload that here. Then you're going to go in and add your title. What I typically do is go back to my blog post and copy the title from the blog post, paste it in here. The description that I typically add is the first one or two paragraphs from my blog post. I just copy, paste it in there, and then add link. The link that you add here where it says link is the link to your blog post, okay? Choose a board, whatever board you want. You can create a new board with this little button right here where it says create new board. Go ahead and name the board, create the board. It's very simple, I got questions about that. And then if you want, you can tag your topic. And then all you have to do from there is select pin or publish your pin. And from there, voila, here it is on my Pinterest board. Now I wanna show you quickly the process. Once somebody's on Pinterest scrolling, they see your pin, they click on it, they click again, that's gonna bring you into your blog post. And as you can see, I'm scrolling here. This is where you're gonna see those links 
click on the link, it's gonna take you over to Amazon and voila, if somebody makes that purchase, if they find this content valuable that you're giving them, they're like, yes, I really wanna wear these shoes in Disney, they click the link, they buy the shoes, you get that commission. I am gonna to continue to give you guys one month updates for the next couple of months. If you find you have any questions, continue to leave them and I'll continue to answer them as I read them. As always, thank you so much for your support and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.